Cube, iOS monitoring. Today I'm going to show you how to monitor on an iOS device using the Cube. There's two ways to do this, through access point mode and infrastructure mode. In access point mode, we're going to connect directly to our Cube, while in infrastructure mode, we're using the router as a bridge to extend our range. I'll show you how to use both modes, but we're going to start with access point mode. So let's get started. First, make sure you have a video source connected to your cube and your cube is powered on. So let's enable access point mode on our device. Toggle the black button to network setup. Choose Wi-Fi and under mode, we're going to change it to access point. Here, you can set up your access point name, security, and channel. So we want to go with the 5 gigahertz band whenever we can because it generally has less interference than the 2.4 gigahertz. In access point mode, Cube has a 300 to 500 foot range, depending on interference. The default name is just Terranet, followed by the last four digits of the Cube serial number. I'm just going to be using the default. Now, let's connect our iOS device to our Cube. So on my iPad here, I'm going to enable Wi-Fi and look for the access point name right here, Terranet, and connect to it. If your device doesn't see Cube's access point, double check which band your Cube is on and also which band is supported by your monitoring device. Before we move on, check to make sure you have the TerraView app downloaded on your iOS device. It's downloadable for free in the App Store. Now open the app and look for your device in the list. Click it and press play. You're now monitoring on your iOS device. For further or advanced technical support, Check out support.teradec.com. To learn more about Teradec, visit teradec.com.